Romans chapter 2 verse 9 says, There will be trouble and distress for every human being who does evil, first for the Jew, then for the Gentile. And God is saying right here that so many people take this out of context. So many people think that when God says first the Jew, then the Gentiles, it means that, oh, well, that means the Jews are chosen first, so we're special. No, because God doesn't have favorites. However, yes, you're right, he does have favor. So, But what comes with carrying that much favor is also carrying the weight. What comes with carrying that much favor means you're going to be held to a higher standard. So so yes, you'll be blessed. Yes, you will have joy. And yes, you will receive things first. But that means you will also be disciplined first. See, a lot of people think that they're chosen ones and they're not really chosen ones. He says, I don't pick the people who ask me and beg me to be chosen ones. I don't pick the people who want to be chosen. He says that the chosen ones are the people who don't want it. The chosen ones are the people who didn't ask for it. Because the people who didn't ask for it, the people who don't want to be chosen, won't abuse the power given to chosen ones. Because let's face it, when you are a chosen one, when God chooses chooses you or handpicks you when he anoints you when he pours the pours the oil on your head himself you are now held to a higher standard that means you are now closer standing to God than regular people are so what what I'm saying is or what God is saying is what comes with being chosen comes with um, your family being in your business it comes with social media being in your business it comes with the whole world being in your business because you are now held to a higher standard and so because you are held to a higher standard you must stand higher and now people look up to you now the people um who are not as chosen as you have to look up to you and learn from you which means you are held to a higher responsibility so don't take it lightly when god says you're chosen because chosen ain't just something that he picked because you're just his favorite no chosen means you are the one that's going to do this job and you don't have a choice you see some people have a choice to pick up the call some people have a choice to answer their calling but he says the chosen ones don't have a choice because I chose you. He says, I chose you. Everybody else, they had to choose me back before I used them. He said, but I'm going to use you the way that you are and then I'm going to change you and work on you and as I'm working on you I'm still going to be using you he says chosen ones get to do the job while still being worked on see we're all being worked on but there's a difference chosen ones are people who are anointed and they may not look the way that you think they should look they may not look the way you think a chosen person should look but he says I'm not I didn't call righteous ones I didn't call um I didn't call holier than thou ones I'm looking for chosen ones anointed ones and I know that they are anointed because I picked them I know that they are anointed because I chose them. He says, I don't have to explain myself to anybody. So stop looking at the Bible and thinking that because we are chosen or because you're chosen that you're special. It doesn't make you more special. It just makes you held to a higher standard and a bigger accountability. That's the word. <laughs>